Greetings, and welcome once again to Creepy Ghoul Vision. I am Creepy Ghoul, your host. Today, we have punk, rock, and horror stuff and everything else in between, including the signature bone gloves. Let's get to it, guys. What's happening? Creepy Ghoul, back from the dead. All right, so let's get to it. So I got a lot of punk rock stuff for you guys. I got a lot of horror stuff for you guys. and everything in between for you guys so let's get to it it's all right here we got some records we got some tapes we got some cds we got some books we got some vinyl pops we got some horror magazines and we have some punk rock shoes you know? so let's get to it guys okay so first off i want to showcase uh, some new cassettes uh, some new punk rock cassettes um, I got, um, or punk rock related cassettes. So first, first up, we got, uh, Phonophobia by Extreme Noise Terror. Hard to find on cassette, man, jeez. Hard to find on LP as well. Um, I have this one on CD from way back when. Um, came across the cassette, I believe, on, um, I, I honestly don't remember where got a pile of stuff sitting here for like the past month almost um, waiting to showcase it for you guys but yeah phonophobia extreme noise care very extremely early extreme um, really great stuff it needs no introduction in my opinion um, so there we go let's throw some um, industrial in there we got some god flesh now this one here is like um, <coughs> it's called post self I had never even uh, seen or heard of this Godflesh album uh, before. I think we're more familiar with Street Cleaner, uh, that type of thing. Um, but yeah, I gave a listen to this one um, online and I'm like, yeah, oh, this is like, sounds like old school Godflesh for a newer release. And on cassette of that, there you go. Who put this one out? I don't know who put this one out. Um, hospital, hospital, hospital something. I don't know. Anyhow, uh, the Extreme Less Terror came out on Back on Black. Now, Back on Black, as of the last little while, has been pumping out a lot of old shit. Well, rightfully, Back on Black, right? Um, speaking of black we got we got some bad brains on cassette now these I have um, I believe I have the originals um, on cassette I have these on every format actually um, however uh, the conditions of cassettes may vary type of thing uh, hey man nothing wrong with some reissue uh, cassettes um, there you go right there, we got uh, my favorite Bad Brains release of all time, uh, Rock for Light. It's got all the favorites on there, man. One of my favorites is F.V.K. The Fearless Vampire Killers. Now there's a song by the Brains that I've always wanted to cover on like guitar or bass now, um, or even like play it live, like, uh, like I would do vocals. Um, I play bass nowadays, um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's a song I've always wanted to cover in a band, uh, FVK by The Bad Brains, not because I'm into horror or anything like that, it's just a great freaking song. Um, At The Movies is another good one, um, you know, um, Right Brigade I love, uh, this, this is just a great, I like every freaking song on this album. Rock for Light. I even like this better than the first album. The first album of this one, the same shit, different pile, but I lean more towards Rock for Light. Reissue on cassette. Um, 
put out by, uh, um, well, it's an official release. It doesn't say who put it out. Nevertheless, um, and then we got Quickness. Great album. Every freaking track on this album delivers. I probably wouldn't go past Quickness for Bad Brains, though. Um, but yeah, this was a... wouldn't even consider this a border, borderline album for me. This was just a great freaking album. Bad Brains Quickness. There you go, right there. Reissue cassettes, man. These are my playing copies, most definitely. I don't know what the condition of my uh, original cassettes are. Okay, missed out on this a couple of times, but I snagged it up when the getting was good. It's the um, fan club release, and a very extremely well done fan club release of the Suicidal Tendencies demos 82 to 86. There you go, man. 100%, two fingers in the air, skate rock, punk rock, right there, coming at you. Look at Mike. Fuck, how old was he there? Look at that. And it's a, it's a digipack. Look at that. I love this. Check out some of the old photos right there. Look at that. Some of those probably from the Repo Man days. There you go, right there. You gotta check this out though. This is a very extremely well done um, boot. Fan club boot, definitely. I had to have this one. It kept selling out. I think the limitation's only a couple hundred of these things. Um, oh, here it is, right here. Limited to, oh, limited to 600 copies. 600 copies worldwide. Get it while the getting's good. I think I have the uh, Demos LP as well from uh, way back when. Check this out, man, I had to have this. And when it came, I expected like a bigger book. Doesn't matter, I'm not complaining, but check this out. If you're, if you're um, a fan of uh, Japanese punk rock uh, from the 80s, um, then you need this book pretty much. Um, this book right here, it's called, I'll tell you exactly what it's called. It's called uh, The Legend of Kansai Hardcore. The Legend of Kansai Hardcore. I don't know what Kansai means or is. Um, I don't know if it's a city in Japan, probably is. Uh, most likely it is, but this is an amazing, 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 amazing uh, Japanese punk rock book. SOB, Uto, Nightmare, Warhead, everybody's in this, man. Check this out. It is actually better than I had thought. I think I got this from Hells. Check this out. Lots of interviews, lots of old interviews, some new interviews. Um, lots of early picks of bands like um, SOB, one of my favorites was always SOB. I spent a good portion of my life collecting anything I could find by that uh, band, SOB. But check it out. All Jap, no crap, as I like to say. There you go. Japanese punk from the 80s, right there. That's a cool little book, man. I'm really happy to have that. Definitely. Check it. Hell's Headbangers. Uh, put out by FOAD. There you go. I just noticed that now. FOAD Records right there. These guys have also been pumping out a lot of great shit, man. Lots of great shit. Seriously. Alright, so... Got a new pair of shoes. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it was just one of those things, um, you know, uh, like the whole laces thing and whatever, quick on, quick off type of thing. I looked into a pair of, uh, Vans, uh, slip-ons and, uh, of course the classic black, not into the whole checkers thing and whatnot. Um, you know, everybody's wearing those, but isn't it amazing? how um, these shoes, or shoes in general, shaped the, uh, the punk rock scene and like uh, several genres of music, but in particular like these shoes and like punk rock, Southern California, Black Flag. Speaking of Black Flag, 
Here they are right here. I haven't even worn them yet. I was waiting to uh, do a little video here. The classic black uh, slip-ons right there. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Des Kadena from uh, Black Flag wore these. Wears these or wore these. So, if Des Kadena from Black Flag wears these, that means I have to wear these. You know, there are people like that out there. Seriously, New there are people like that out there. Because this one wore that, I've got to get these and wear them and stuff like that. Anyhow, these are just great shoes, man. Look at that. Slip on, slip off. Never had a pair of slip ons before. Uh, there you go, size 10, because Creepy Ghoul has big feet. And you know what they say about people that have big feet. Yeah, these are great shoes. Look at that, eh? Can't wait to slip these on. There you go. Old school. Black, black flag shoes. And now for something completely different. <laughs> I was, uh, I was at, uh, the uh, drugstore the other day while there's a post office in there and stuff like that and I stumbled across uh, a couple vinyl pops here um, I just uh, wanted to grab them uh, I'm gonna throw them in this video why not check this out from the new from the new the Batman movie which I liked uh, so you can either take it or leave it man I'm telling you it was a dark ass film and I do plan on getting the uh, soundtrack when it does come out on LP uh, here's the Selena Kyle vinyl pop from the film. I'm a big Catwoman fan. I love all forms of uh, dark Catwoman in the cat suits. I didn't care. I didn't care for the Riddler in the movie, to be honest with you. Um, everybody else was fine. But uh, anyhow, there you go. Catwoman vinyl pop. Still collecting vinyl pops. There you go, right there. And I'm trying to get all the, um, the Seinfeld ones. I gotta get Jerry, uh, George, and uh, Kramer uh, next. But I had to get Elaine. I uh, saw her there, couldn't pass her up. Classic dress and glasses with the hair back and the backpack. I don't know if you can see the backpack. But yeah, there you go right there. Th this chick was crude as hell, man, I'm telling you. On the show, there's all the other Seinfeld ones you can get. You even get Elaine with that weird hat on, that sombrero hat. Whatever. I got into Seinfeld much later in life, uh, all through the 90s. I didn't have time for that shit, and plus uh, some political views of mine kind of got in the way. But anyhow, great, great show, great show, great show. I watch it uh, nowadays, all the reruns and shit. All right, so what's missing here? What's missing here? Creepy Eagle usually has a drink. When he does his videos. What's missing? The drink is missing. Anyhow, let's get to it. So I got my last issue of Rue Morgue magazine in the mail, and uh, they're on my ass about uh, resubscribing and whatnot. It's pretty cool. Good old paper. I've gotten a million emails <laughs> and, and notifications and offers and this and that. Um, anyhow, there we go right there, latest issue of Rue Morgue Magazine. You know, I, a couple of weeks back, I was at the um, Rue Morgue Spooky Flea Market. You probably saw my video for that, it's posted. Uh, check it out if you haven't. It's on the channel. Uh, it was a few weeks back, a lot, got a lot of cool stuff. Um, really cool uh, flea market. The girls at the Rue Morgue table were so nice, great. I mean, uh, you know, but even though I'm not that much of a fan of the magazine nowadays as I was back in the 90s, um, you know, I may consider it or um, I may uh, get a subscription for a friend of mine, who knows, but yeah, there we go, latest issue of Rumored Magazine, um, it doesn't resonate too much with me nowadays as uh, other horror magazines do, like uh, for example The Dark Side from the UK and, or Horror Hound from uh, the States, but anyhow. Rumorg Magazine, last uh, issue in my subscription, right there. 
There we go, Horror Hound Magazine. I think this is my last issue in my subscription as well, or maybe I've got another one coming. But in my opinion, nowadays, in this day and age, if you're picking up like a, like a physical copy of a magazine, a horror magazine, I will recommend um, picking up Horror Hound Magazine. Um, really, 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 really great magazine here. Um, really resonates with me. Uh, I'll show you some insides, some of the insides, there we go, look at that, eh? Spooky's uh, Centerfold, Centerfold, Centerfold. There you go, VHS box. Yeah, really great magazine, Horror Hound magazine, Creepy Ghoul recommends it, check it out. On your newsstands now, you get a subscription like I did. I may renew, I don't know. Okay guys, oh, let's get to it. I got some punk rock records. 100%, two fingers in the air, punk rock records coming at you right now on Creepy Ghoul Vision. Like, share, and subscribe. Give me a couple thumbs up, will ya? Subscribe to this weirdness and you stay weird. Let's get to the records right here. Here it is right here. I stumbled across this one. I had never even seen or heard of this, man. Uh, it was, it's called uh, Total Holocaust. Total Holocaust. Now, look at that. Double LP, gatefold. Who's on it? I'll tell you who's on it. Onslaught. Yes, the Onslaught power from hell, Onslaught, the force Onslaught. But when they were a punk rock band, a crust punk band at that, an anarcho punk band at that, Onslaught, War Wound, Sacrilege UK, Raw Noise, Raw Noise, Extreme Noise Terror, Disgust, The Fiend, oh fuck, The Fiend, holy shit, yeah, 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 Death Dealers, um, and that's it, there's like a million tracks, there's like 24 tracks on here. There's like 24 tracks on here, all crust, anarcho, right there, and put out on the mighty, back on black. Fuck, I didn't even know about this record, man, and I stumbled across it, had to grab it, terrific compilation, right there, and oh, I'm going to show you the gatefold, actually, I'm so enthusiastic about this record, bam, there you go. There's the Onslaught album. I have this one. It's Every really good. Has the inside story on your pet's health. Damn, it I hate it when uh, the these pet. fucking commercials it's interrupt my atmosphere music. Balance. But check it out. There we go. Extreme Noise Terror, Sacrilege, Disgust, Raw Noise. Love Raw Noise. Okay, there you go. This is a great freaking record. Where did I get this record? Oh, I think I got this from Juno Records, J-U-N-O, Juno Records out of the UK, I think. I'm pretty sure I did. Juno Records is an amazing, amazing um, record label. Uh, check it out, Juno Records. Seriously, I order from them, like, frequently. Great selection, great prices, fast shipping from the UK. Um, I can highly recommend that site, man. Juno Records is where it's at. Definitely. Now, in my record collection, uh, on my shelves there, I've got um, a section, and it's called The Weird Shit, or Weird Shit. Now, this is not going in my punk hardcore section, but it's going to go in my weird shit section. There it is right there. Yeah, go ahead, say what you will, laugh at me, please. I beg. There it is right there. <laughs> the East West Live Disaster. Have you heard this? Seriously. You need to listen to it. Actually, you don't need to listen to this. <laughs> Cal's voice is absolutely fucking annoying beyond belief. Like, seriously. Makes me want to punch a hole in my wall. This is when they toured that... Uh, that glam album that they did, um, freak, what was it called? I have it, I have an original copy of it. It's there, I don't know. Um, 
and nobody knew what to expect. And uh, I can't remember what uh, big bands they toured with. I think it was like, um, shit, I don't remember. DRI. Actually, no, it's right here, shit. <laughs> DRI, CLC, Youth of Today, Rock Hotel, The Ritz, where Sam Hain played. Shit, there's the flyer. Right there. And the crowd just let them fucking have it, man. And you hear it all on this record. It's a fun album, actually. I've heard it. It's a fun album just to put on in the background and just do your shit. And just, like, have a good laugh. There it is right there. Had to have it. Had to have it. Had to have it. <laughs> oh, yes. Probably, in my opinion, the best G.G. Allen <laughs> release. I remember um, my first girlfriend, actually. Um, it was where I first heard of G.G. Allen. This was back in the late, very late 80s, actually. Or extreme early 90s. Either 89 or 90, I don't remember. Anyhow, um, yeah, she uh, got me into a lot of shit. And uh, a lot of stuff, I should say. A lot of stuff, a lot of music. And um, G.G. Allen was a name that popped up. And here it is right here. I had to have this one, man. I didn't have this one on LP. Um, not for sale to persons under 18 years of age. Of course, of course. Look at that. Everything's on here, man, that you need. I, I love Dope Money. Um, where's that one here? Um, Cunt Sucking Cannibals, like my favorite. Caroline and Sue's, like another favorite of mine. Um, <laughs> dog Shit. Love it. This is a great GG album. This has got to be the best GG album ever. There it is right there. This, this album probably needs no introduction, man, I'm telling you. But I'm really happy to get a get a, an LP copy of this. Look at that. Oh. Black Flag. Damaged with Dez. Dez Kadena. I met Des Kadena way back when, uh, when he played in the Misfits. I uh, met him after the set. Uh, nice dude. Um, <laughs> there it is right there. A fan club bootleg, a black flag damaged with Des. There it is right there. This is amazing. This is amazing. I'm telling you right now. It's damaged, but every track is from various releases and times with Dez on vocals. There you go. I do like Dez on vocals. Um, I'll take him over uh, Henry any day. Um, however, Keith Morris has it. Ron Rees was great too. I uh, love Keith Morris with Black Flag for sure. And of course, Robo. Robo, the best freaking drummer. There it is right there. Damaged with Dez. This album sold out, man. I'm telling you, I missed out on this a couple of times. Really happy to have it. Oh, I need a drink. Black Flag coming at you again. Live at the On Broadway. The Dead Kennedys played there too. Uh, July 23rd, 82. 82. And of course, it's Henry Rollins. Um, this is an amazing live album. I gotta tell you. Um, Depression, No Values, um, uh, Wasted, Revenge, Rides Above, everything, man. There it is right there. See the track listing. And there's Henry right there. Was he wearing a pair of Vans? Uh, yeah, maybe. But anyhow, <laughs> there you go right there. This is an amazing live show, I gotta tell you. It's really great. Love this. Wanted to have it. This actually also sold out too. I got this from Grave Mistake Records out of Richmond, Virginia. I think, I, I, yeah, I got this one as well. Um, Grave Mistake. You want punk rock, you need punk rock, you want punk rock music in this day and age. Records, uh, tapes, what, what not. Check out Grave Mistake Records, man. I'm telling you, from Richmond, Virginia. Amazing selection. Really good prices. Shipping is okay, not bad, pretty good. Um, he'll reimburse you, like, if you buy multiple stuff, you'll get a reimbursement, um, to, uh, balance out the shipping type of thing. Real honest fucking label, man, as it ought to be, uh, with, uh, you know, punk rock in this day and age, you know what I mean? Keeping it old school. 
um, keeping it real as well. Now, um, Great Mistake Records, shit, what was I going to say about them? I can't remember. Anyhow, I got a couple more records coming from those guys, one being the X-Ray Specs demos, um, as well as some other shit. Anyways, you'll see it on Creepy Ghoul Vision. There you go. Alright, moving right along, check this out. Um, I think I'm done with uh, Sacrilege UK, man. It's like I have everything they ever put out. But I didn't have this one on LP. Now this is, uh, this is an extremely raw and uh, just an amazing live set that Sacrilege UK did. Um, so this LP contains the first two demos and <clears throat> an unreleased live set from 85. I don't know how you're going to go wrong with that, with Sacrilege UK. There's a shot of them right there. Uh, this one I got, uh, I believe, at Grave Mistake Records as well. Check it out. They may have some copies left. But yeah. Um, yeah, really great stuff. Really great stuff. Uh, her vocals come through crystal clear, loud and clear. Actually, her vocals are actually the most dominant thing on this record. Sounds amazing, though. Had to have this one for my Sacrilege UK uh, early collection there. All right, so I got Itchy Nose from Grave Mistake Records as well. Uto, the collection, right here. Uh, all Jap, no crap, right there. It's called the Clay Years, not the same GBH Clay Years one, but uh, this is the Japanese punk rock, the, the Clay, the Clay, the Clay. There it is right there, it's a nice collection. Really nice collection of, uh, I think, um, almost all, or all of Uto's stuff. There you go, you like your Japanese hardcore, 80s Japanese hardcore? Check out Uto. They need no introduction, man, come on. I haven't bought a DK album in a while, and uh, didn't have this one on LP. I got a lot of um, Dead Kennedys, uh, bootlegs and stuff. This is uh, live at the old Waldorf, San Francisco, October 25th, 79, um, an FM broadcast, and uh, you guys know FM broadcasts are just like gold, man, I'm telling you. Pure soundboard recordings, great recordings right there. There it is right there, so track listing, very early stuff, love it. DH, uh, DH Peligro um, wasn't even in the band yet when they did this. Um, but yeah. There we go. Dead Kennedys. <clears throat> Complete death live. Now check this out. This is an amazing Japanese punk hardcore compilation. Who's on it? Who's on it? SOB. Poison Arts. I was never too familiar with Poison Arts, but I got into them much later. Great fucking band. Uto is on here. Squad. Um, there you go. There's the back of it right there. I can really recommend this comp. And this, this is courtesy of uh, Grave Mistake Records as well. Um, there you go. Complete Death Live. Now this is, uh, well, it is what it is. It's all live tracks of these bands. Squad, SOB, Poison Arts, and Uto. Maybe from the same show, who knows, but yeah, great stuff. All Jap, no crap. Guys, I got one more thing I'm going to show you, courtesy again from Grave Mistake Records. Now, this one sold out a couple of times, and I snagged it. It's pretty heavy. It's a box set. It's the Ramones uh, box set, the um, broadcast collection. There's three... Um, Three, am I right? Yeah, there's three, there's the back, three FM broadcasts right here. Now, my favorite um, era of the Ramones has got to be like the 70s, like uh, particularly the late 70s into the early 80s. Um, I own very few uh, studio Ramones albums because I don't really like studio Ramones albums. I much prefer the Ramones live. Man, the energy was there that it wasn't in all those studio recordings like 
every live show the Ramones almost, man, that I've ever heard, which has been like numerous. Like, I, I, I can't even tell you. Yeah, I'll take any live Ramones over any studio Ramones any day of the week. Now, this is Eaten Alive, New York, 77 broadcast. Uh, the Buffalo Bop, 79 broadcast. Right off the bat, Ramones live from the 70s. And the last show here, uh, Pinheads in Buenos Aires, 1996, Argentina broadcast. 96. What was going on in 96? Was that with their last show or one of their last shows? I can't remember. But it was supposed to be a classic legendary show, wasn't it? From uh, Buenos Aires. Anyhow, doesn't matter. There it is right there. The Ramones FM broadcast box set. There's been like a few box sets put out over many years of Ramones and FM broadcasts. This one uh, just really jumped out at me on Grave Mistake and um, wanted to grab it build up the Ramones uh, live uh, LP collection. I don't have too many live Ramones, but uh, yeah, there you go right there. That's a heavy set, man. Can't wait to rip that one open. Guys, that was it. That was my horror, 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 punk rock, punk rock, punk rock, and the rest video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you learned something new. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Subscribe to this weirdness and give me a couple thumbs up, will ya? Creepy Ghoul Vision coming at ya live from Scarborough, Ontario, Canada. Stay weird as always.